that tone, it's a real money in the room. That's my answer to why, you know, black women and black men don't get along. And another thing I'm going to say to it, me personally, I'm going to speak to my personal, excuse me, I'm going to speak to my personal, um, from my personal views and opinion, y'all not natural no more either. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are running, running behind these trannies and these gay men to the point where real men don't, we don't want you. We're afraid of you. I'm gonna just be honest. If you are, if you are uplifting your competition, right? Look at homosexuality. Like this ain't no disrespect to Atlanta, but look at Atlanta. Look at look at Cali. Look at LA. Look at Los Angeles. Look at the cities where it's the most trannies and the most downloaded. It's women. Y'all the ones. Y'all the ones uplifting it. And I ain't saying everybody go outside and just wild on homosexuals. But what I'm saying is. Black women are constantly promoting their own competition. You know what I'm saying? You don't want us out here dating white women. And I can say I never had sex with a white woman in my life. This ain't no pun to white women, but I've stayed loyal to my race. I've never had sex with a white woman in my life. Never even kissed a white woman. But imagine wearing a blonde wig every day, but then you, you are conditioning your son psychologically to be attracted to blonde hair. He's been watching you wear a blonde wig for 20 years of his life, and then he grow up and go get a white woman, and then you get mad at him. But you've been walking around the house like a white woman all your life. Uh... Imagine going to get a breast, a breast implant or a butt implant and wear a weave and then a go do the same thing. And now your son can't tell the difference. And, and, and you've taught him to be attracted to a ass or some breasts. So he don't care who or what is on. And once again, the, the community is disenfranchised. Dis, uh, so what it's coming down to is black women have to stop perpetuating the ideologies that are actually not just working against them, but working against their children. And most of the times, that's what we're in the house arguing with black women about. We're arguing with them because they don't listen. The only time black women listen is when they want you to fight for them. But I don't mind fighting for you. And I'm speaking on black women because I'm black. I'm pretty sure other races of people do it too, but I'm only speaking towards mine. So please don't jump in the comments saying, well, it's all women. It might be all women, but I'm only speaking to the women that I love uh, and look like. We don't mind fighting for y'all, but it's just don't have me out here on no dummy mission. And don't be disrespecting me and then think you're going to fight for me. Don't be, don't be getting, I know this shit y'all do. I grew up in the hood. Break up with you, you will call the job, you will call the job 50 times in a row and annoy that manager so much that the manager fired it. I know what y'all do. Y'all call POs. It happened to me. You get into a new relationship, y'all will harass the new girl so much. Man, if I could just count on my feet, do y'all know how many women I didn't talk to where they be like, Pharaoh, I really like you, I, I, I really feeling you, but I'm falling back because your baby mother's is just too much. Ooh. Like, so y'all will harass me out of a life, and it's just a myriad of other shit I could go on down the line. And all we, all the average black man is asking you to do is just listen. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and the real issue is because y'all will listen to every other but the black man. Right. But then y'all want us to, y'all, that we the first. Y'all want us to go combat somebody for you. We defer when the police is security or somebody bothering you outside. You want us to step to them. Police, Sandra Bland, your ass, you want us to step to them. Anything happening in the world, you want us to step to somebody, but you don't want to give us the respect as a stepper. It's right. like it's like a it's like having a grimy general. It's like you just abusing your soldiers all day, but then you want them to go to war and have high morale when it's time to go to war. But you've been telling them names the whole time. So it's the same thing. It's like black women, y'all dogging us, saying shit, get money, 304, scamming, wop de wop, and y'all don't have no respect for us, no day of the year, but then y'all want us to go on dummy missions for y'all. And, and I'm going to end right here. That is why we're arguing with y'all in the house, because it's coming down to the fact that as much as y'all ask for us, even though y'all asking for unfair, y'all are probably the most horrible business people on the planet right now, y'all won't even give us the simple respect of just speaking to us nicely most of y'all talking in like they five years old or y'all cussing out over every little thing some of y'all don't want to give a no respect y'all wait till friends and family come over to get the wilding some of y'all we can't take y'all nowhere y'all wait until y'all i don't know why the f some of y'all do this y'all wait good and well till they get the public and get the wilding you feel me i don't know why the f y'all do it but y'all know y'all do it and y'all just wild out on but y'all don't do that with no other race. You don't ever see, I've never seen a black woman that's what a white man call his job and getting fired. 
I ain't never seen a black woman that's what a white man call his parole officer and getting fired. And I ain't saying they ain't never did it. I'm just saying I ain't never seen it. I ain't never seen a black woman with a white man get in public and be like, you start putting your fingers all in his face and wilding on him in front of his. But y'all wait till y'all get with us to do that. And I don't understand that. I ain't never seen you do that to no Spanish. And I done heard plenty of black women say, I want to date a Spanish person because they got good hair. And I ain't knocking their hair, but we got good hair too. But the point is, y'all give all of the brownie points to every other race of man but us. Y'all go to Dubai and do God knows what over there. We didn't all heard the stories. So y'all get around them Arabs and everybody else in the world, and y'all get them the utmost respect, but y'all can't even have a, a, a y'all can't even, y'all treat us worse than y'all treat y'all little cats and dogs, literally, that y'all got in the house. Half y'all don't even talk to them dogs and them cats the way y'all talk to y'all niggas or y'all baby fathers when y'all angry. I ain't never seen it. You feel me? Y'all violate in front of their kids. Y'all wait. There's so many videos I done seen on Facebook. I wish I could have just jumped through the camera. Y'all wait until niggas get in front of their kids and start cursing them out and dogging them. You don't give a no respect as a father. Then when, then when the kid gets 16, 17, you want them to jump in and be a disciplinary uh, entity. But how the they going to do that when the kid don't even respect them because you ain't gave them no respect. So now niggas having hand-to-hand -hand boxing sessions with their son because you done raised their sons against them. So it's to the point now where... I had to ask myself, our, and I'm saying black American women because the only good relationship I've ever had with a black woman was with one that was not even from America. All my, all my other relationships with black women have been crazy, ain't never been, ain't never treated me right. So I have to say now, our black American women the enemy because no disrespect to white people, I know I can't trust white people like that, but I never thought I wouldn't be able to trust y'all. And a part of me is much crazy as I know white people do, a part of me still trust they ass over you. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, then that's how f it is. That's how damaged I am personally. That if I was paralyzed and I was in the hospital and somebody said, you want a white nurse or a black nurse, I would have to, I would have to deliberate on which one I want because of what I've been through with black women. I, I would have to deliberate on if this get mad at me, is she going to not bring me my pain meds? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if this get mad, like, I would have to deliberate on how grimy could this get if she get an attitude today you know so that's just what it is it's just what it is i'm being honest i'm not trying to down talk black women i like i said i ain't never dated no white woman but from just my personal experience and if you go on the street right now and ask the average random walking up the street in america how is how is he being treated by black american women whether it be his family or strangers or his exes i like how you specify black american oh yeah yeah yes sir yes sir uh he gonna pretty much say the same thing. And so I'm just letting black American women know what you see on TV is not real. <clears throat> Law and order don't really work like that. So we need y'all to have our backs uh, against the judicial system. Stop just throwing us to the <laughs> wolves. What else I wanna say before we go to the next subject? Uh, be mindful of how you talking to people. I don't understand why y'all, I don't understand why y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? Mothers cuss their sons out. We all see it. It ain't a secret it ain't like I'm making shit up. You can go to the average little league game right now. You know what I'm saying? And then it didn't got so out of pocket, it didn't got so out of control. You can go to a kid's practice and the mother would get the co cussing the coach out if he yelling. But the last time I checked, this is football. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't running the lap, your coach supposed to say run the lap, but you got mothers that'd be like, don't yell at him like that. So it's just like y'all is just totally trying to pipe down any form of masculinity, and then y'all have replaced us. I'm gonna say this too, cause I, I want to get this out too. Then, then y'all got a trick. I, I, I got a y'all, y'all got a trick that I wasn't savvy, uh, uh, privy to. One of them out of the two, but I'm privy to it now. Another thing y'all just be doing, and I mean this literally, y'all go date bums, and then you would try to build a bum up to make yourself have this, this image in the bum eyes that 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 you should be trying to build in a nigga that's established eyes. And then what happened is y'all y'all purposely are dating down because a nigga that's lower than you will accept you for your beauty. So now you never have to actually be a woman and follow lead because in his eyes you look like the leader because you the one that lifted him, him up. But then you will come in my in my life or one of these niggas in the room life and be hell on earth and don't want to listen. And what I'm learning about women in America is y'all purposely don't talk to niggas that's established. And y'all purposely go talk to street, which no disrespect to niggas in the streets, but y'all ain't talking to niggas that's, I don't know if it is, I ain't out here. 
I ain't snitching on nobody. But if it is out here doing millions of dollars for bricks of cocaine, you ain't talking to them. You talking to the crusty gene. So y'all purposely going to talk to bums so that way y'all don't have to talk to because that's established. So that way you don't have to play the feminine role. And that's another trick y'all be doing. So if you go talk to a to where in his eyes you the best he could get, then you don't have to, perf you can be lazy on your performance as a woman. Versus if you come talk to somebody that's in this room that's getting up, going to work, paying taxes, and now you gotta come pull your weight. So that's what another trick y'all be doing. Another trick uh, I found out y'all be doing, uh, where was I at with it? Okay, t dating lower on purpose. Um, what's another trick? Damn, it just lost my train of thought. But if it come to me somewhere in this interview, I'll give it back. But long well, story short, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say the reason I appreciate you specifying black American women is because you don't really see that from other like black women from the diaspora. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That whether it's Haitian, um, straight from the motherland, you know what I'm saying? Jamaican. Re Jamaican, any any Caribbean, Caribbean island, you know what I'm saying? Any, 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 you know what I'm saying? Any black woman from anywhere else, it's like they're submissive, they cook, they clean, they mind their business, you know what I'm saying? And, and if they gotta work, they gonna work. They show their husbands uh, respect, you know what I'm saying? And they take care of their kids, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, like with black women, it be like I say, the relationship is hostile and I'm not just solely uh, blaming them, but right. my observation from other races is that they know how to be women. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you said earlier, a lot of, and when I say know how to be women, I do feel like you know, you should know how to cook in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Right. Like that was a. I remember when I was growing up, the, the 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 that was mandatory. You you was, you know, holidays came up when we celebrated holidays. You was in the kitchen, and I wasn't even allowed to be in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? There was right. a time like that there, and that's not like that.